What's up guys, welcome to the video. It's just past 6 a.m. and today we're gonna to be doing a full day of only eating Trader Joe's fall themed foods. If you're like me and you have a pulse and you've been to Trader Joe's before, I mean, how can you not love Trader Joe's? It's literally like probably the best grocery store chain ever, I think. They have a whole long list of a bunch of seasonal things they do just for fall and this time of year. So we're gonna be eating only those kind of things and doing a little taste test all throughout today of just fall items from Trader Joe's. Gonna get some coffee going right now and then we're gonna do two runs today also as well, a sunrise run and a sunset run. Enjoy the video. To start off, we have our regular coffee, but I poured about half of it out. I've never been one to enjoy like sweet coffee or coffee with a ton of flavoring. I really just like black coffee, but given the circumstances today, we're going to be trying to do something I've never even heard of before. I don't know if people do this, but I have a feeling it's honestly going to be really gross. We are going to be doing half coffee and half of Trader Joe's spiced cider. I, I don't know about this, honestly. Here goes nothing. Mm, half and half. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Oh, it doesn't smell good. It's disgusting. I would not recommend this at all. It's for the theme. Ugh. All right, I can't finish this. It's disgusting. Later. Still a little bit chilly out, so this is one of the one and only times you will see me run with a shirt on, so cherish it while you can. <laughs> Still mostly dark outside, see a little bit of light starting to peek through though, so we're gonna head down to the beach boardwalk. Hopefully it'll be a nice sunrise down there, but I will see you guys on the GoPro. There's something so nice about running here early in the morning. Just a few other people out. It's nice and cold. Cool air feels so nice because it's fall time. It's just really nice out here, especially right now. Sun's coming up. See the horizon line really clearly right there. Yeah, it's just beautiful. <laughs> So there's the first run of the day, sunrise run done, sunset run later tonight, but now you know what a Huntington Beach sunrise looks like. Just gonna do a little bit of light stretching and then we're gonna get some breakfast from the Trader Joe's fall menu. Let's go. Pumpkin brioche bread. We're gonna turn this bad boy into French toast and it's gonna be delicious. You already know it's gonna be delicious. Let's be real, French toast, one of the best breakfasts ever. Can only get better when you're making it with a pumpkin brioche bread from Trader Joe's, sounds so good. And then we're going to put some of the limited time cinnamon bun spread from Trader Joe's on top, so it'll be delicious. Let's make French toast. Almond milk, egg whites, pumpkin pie spice.
going to put some of this cinnamon bun spread in place of syrup. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Cinnamon bun spread on this really, really makes it. It's so, so delicious. Instead of syrup, just put some of this on top. Brioche is nice and light and fluffy. Mmm. French toast, that was so good. I love the brioche spread, delicious. But this cinnamon bun spread, so good. This stuff is amazing. Definitely not the healthiest meal, but that was absolutely delicious. That meal, top notch from Trader Joe's. So that is breakfast all through. I will see you guys for a Trader Joe's fall lunch in just a little bit. So now here for meal two, we have the Autumnal Harvest Soup, a creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. Looks pretty good. So we're just going to heat this up in Chef M, a.k.a. the microwave. Probably just make all this. Ooh. Here's the test of the autumnal tomato base soup with pumpkin and butter squash. Ooh, that's good. It just needs a tiny bit of salt. A little bit more. Mmm. Good. Nice, rich flavor. Not really a huge fan, I would say, of butternut squash, but tastes really good. It's not super pumpkin-y or anything. It just tastes, honestly, like a really good, flavorful tomato soup. I don't know if I can really pick out the pumpkin and butternut squash so much, but it just tastes really good. Last bit. Soup all done. Not much of a soup guy. I don't love it that much. I can't eat it very often, but that was really good. Hot soup in the afternoon. Whew. Get you sweating. But that is lunch all the way through now. We have our sunset run in just a little bit, so I'll see you for that. And then we got dinner right after. Stay tuned. Just made it to the spot for my sunset run, run number two. Uh, it's around golden hour right now, so I'm just gonna head out in a couple minutes. Uh, just easy five miles for the double. And um, on the way back, like four miles in, hopefully I can hit a lookout spot and we can catch the nice sunset. So I'll see you on the GoPro. This is sunset run number two, let's go. Just a little over four miles in right now. Have a mile left to go, basically. Um, just wanted to stop for a second and show you guys the sunset. This is a nice lookout point to get. Like, it's probably like what your average sunset in Huntington looks like. It looks a little different because of the fires right now. Um, so the sunsets are kind of uh, hit and miss right now. But yeah, this is basically what a, a decent looking sunset looks like. So I wanted to show you guys that for a second. 
All right, so let's hit it. We got a mile to go. Let's finish this run up. Sun just set, but the moon's already, already out. It's nice, so there you go. Sunrise run, sunset run. Whew. See you back at the house for a little bit of dinner, Trader Joe's fall style. All right, back at the house now and it's time to make some ravioli. We have two kinds, both from Trader Joe's. We have the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli and we have the butternut squash ravioli. Now don't get me wrong, I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie, pumpkin seeds, the pumpkin brioche I had this morning was really delicious. But there starts to be a point where putting pumpkin in things gets a little sketchy. And I think with the pumpkin ravioli, we're kind of on that borderline. So I'm interested to see what this is going to taste like, but we're going to go for it. We're going to make both of these because I'm hungry. So let's get to it. Pumpkin ravioli and butter squash ravioli, a little Parmesan cheese and olive oil on top. Here we go. It's decent. It's decent. Um, I don't not like it. I don't love it either. Yeah, there's just something about having pumpkin in everything and having pumpkin and ravioli. Not quite sure how I feel about it. Let's try the butter squash. The butter squash is sweet. Yeah, I think the butter squash works slightly better. I don't know, for some reason when I just eat the pumpkin ravioli, it's like, the pumpkin flavor is actually pretty prominent in it. And I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm eating like pumpkin pie, but not with cheese. It's still good. I just, I don't know if it's really my favorite. I love ravioli a lot. And pumpkin ravioli, eh. Last one right here. Ravioli all finished. Pretty decent. I like it. Would I buy it again and eat it? Um, probably not. Just not my favorite as far as ravioli goes but pretty good still. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right into desert. Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream. Um, this sorta of also falls into the category. I'm not super stoked to try pumpkin ice cream. Again, I love ice cream, just pumpkin flavored. Nah, not really. I don't know why I keep making that sound, nah, but it's just, yeah, I don't know. Ice cream, so how bad can it be? But let's try some. There you go, Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream. Here we go. It's pretty good. To me, this doesn't really, this doesn't even taste super pumpkin-y. It's just kind of like vanilla ice cream with a little bit of spices to it, like cinnamon spices, that kind of thing. So I actually like this, it's pretty good. Doing good in the creamy department. Hi, puppy. That is gonna be it for today's video. I'll total up all the food and calories from today in just a second, and I'll post the Strava recordings from these two runs I did today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit that like and hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.